Hi, Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to talk a little bit about Alexa skills. Skills are a little bit like apps for your smartphone, but for your voice assistant. They're a way to extend the built-in capabilities of your voice assistant, such as an Amazon Echo, or in our case, an Echo Dot. Um, Google have these as well for their Google Home device, but they refer to them as Actions. But regardless of the name being used, they're a way for third-party developers to create ways to extend that built-in functionality that your smart voice assistant has. Um, we've already seen a couple of these. In a previous video I looked at the Philips Hue skill, um, which when enabled allows you to use Alexa to control your lighting. So we explored that in the previous video and it seemed to work fairly well. Um, we also had a look at how you can use Alexa to control your Sonos smart speakers. That's another skill uh, that's been added. It's currently in beta form at the moment. Looked at that in a previous video um, and allows you to use your voice to control your Sonos system. So we've already seen a couple of these skills already, but today I'd like to explore that in a little bit more detail. Um, skills are enabled through the Alexa app. You go into the app on your smartphone and you can then enable skills from inside the store. Um, there's a whole range of different skills out there uh, across a variety of different systems that you can use. Um, so, for example, uh, one of the more basic apps that I've got enabled uh, on um, my uh, Echo at the moment is a mobile phone finder. So, for example, I can simply say Alexa, start mobile phone finder. Shall I call you now? Yes. New phone will now ring for 20 seconds. As soon you find the phone, use the volume button to mute the ringtone. Please don't pick up the call since we would have to pay for it. Thanks. So I'm just going to mute that now. Um, so as you would probably guess, this requires a little bit of setup because all I needed to do was say um, find my uh, start mobile phone finder and it immediately asked to call me. So how did it know which number to call? Well, when you enable a skill like that, the first time you activate it, it'll go through a bit of a verbal setup process. In the case of the mobile phone finder, it asks you to phone them from your smartphone and that effectively pairs your smartphone with the service so that when you subsequently say start mobile phone finder, it knows which number to call and then phones you. So that's a fairly simple and straightforward skill. Other skills require a little bit more setup. So things like the Philips Hue skill or the Sonos skill, you have to go through an account linking process. So you have to link your Amazon Echo account with the Philips account, with your Sonos account, or whatever account it is, for whatever smart technology you're needing to pair with. Uh, again, that's done through the Amazon Alexa app on your smartphone. It just guides you through the process. It's fairly simple and straightforward to do. Um, but you just need to log in to do that account pairing. And once that's done, everything should then be up and running. Um, many skills will require this if you are integrating with a third-party service, um, such as Philips, uh, Philips Hue or Sonos. But there are other things that might require an account linking process as well. Um, another example here, something that I can say is... Alexa, ask BMW what's my range. Your BMW's range is 140 miles. So I've got a BMW, of course, and there's a BMW skill. And if you set that up and pair it with your online BMW account, then you can do things like that. You can ask it um, what the range of your vehicle is based on the current fuel levels. You can do other things like ask it to start the climate control remotely if you have a vehicle that has that capability. Um, you can even ask it to um, check whether your car's locked, which is potentially a very useful feature. Um, so there's a whole variety of things that you can do there once you've enabled that skill. But of course, you have to have your online BMW account set up, and then when you enable the skill, you have to go through that account linking process in order to pair it up with your Alexa system. Um, certain skills, though, don't require any setup at all. So, for example, and this is a bit more of a fun one, Alexa. Ask guard dog to guard. So simple and straightforward skill there. Um, sound of dogs barking. Um, intention, I believe, here is really to make it seem like there's a dog in the house as a kind of a security measure, as a way of deterring a would-be criminal from breaking in, perhaps. I'll stop this now. Alexa, ask guard dog to stop. 
Obviously, with a skill like that, there's no real setup required. You don't need to do any account linking. You don't, don't need to go through any initial verbal configuration to get it running. You just enable the skill, and then you can start using it straight away. Um, what else can we do? Let's see, we've got um, fast food services. So uh, here in the UK, we've got the Just Eat service uh, that you can use to order takeaway. And you can use Alexa to do things like ask when your delivery is gonna be arriving. You can ask it to check on your order. You can have the service send you a notification to your Amazon uh, Echo device to alert you that the order has now been dispatched and is on the way. And you can even reorder um, previous takeaways. So for example, let's give this a go now. Alexa, ask Just Eat what can I reorder? You can choose from pizza, burgers, chicken, American, Indian or fish and chips. What would you like? Chicken. Your last order from Dixie Chicken was on the 20th of October when you had classic meal chicken fillet burger, large chicken bites, 205 pieces chicken strips, regular chicken bites, regular garlic pizza bread, for two chocolate ring donut. This was £22.93. Do you want to continue with this order from Dixie Chicken? No. Okay, I won't continue with this order. Instead, you can choose from pizza, burgers, chicken. I couldn't... Okay, so we'll stop that there. Um, obviously, we had a bit of a banquet that night. Um, you, you get the idea, though. You can go through and get it to list previous meals that you've had, that you've ordered from the takeaway service, uh, and then reorder them. Um, you can't order a new takeaway from scratch. Um, certainly, I, I guess it would probably be a bit difficult trying to re get it to read out all the options and then pick them. So at the moment, all you can really do is just reorder a previous uh, meal that you've ordered in the past but you can go through some of the previous orders that you've had so if there's something that you have on a regular basis on a Friday night whatever you can just get it to send you that again uh, so that's fairly straightforward to do um, there's a range of other skills that you can enable some skills can be automatically enabled so if you ask um, Alexa a particular thing that it can't do um, built-in but it knows that there's a skill in the store that can be used for that it will in some cases automatically enable that skill in order to service the request that you're giving it in order to answer the command that you've issued so some of those skills can be enabled automatically but in many cases most cases you're going to enable that skill through the Alexa skills store in the app now, looking at the store at the moment, it's quite clear that there's a, a large number of third-party, uh, unofficial apps in many cases. It's a little bit like the app stores for smartphones in early days, when there wasn't as many official apps there for some of the things that you would want to use. These days, we're used to having a whole range of different official apps, apps for your bank, apps for your energy provider, apps for your credit card provider, um, Twitter, Facebook, there's a whole range of things and, and you, we're used to just having first party apps uh, from all of the different companies and organizations that we interact with on a regular basis and they're not all there yet on voice assistants. As these things become more popular you can probably expect that to change. Um, of course, there are a number of issues that would need to be addressed. I mean, you don't necessarily want anybody to be able to walk in and ask uh, your uh, voice assistant what your current bank balance is. And you certainly don't want someone being able to issue commands to transfer money without some sort of security. So some security would need to be in place for those kind of capabilities. Um, most skills are available for the full spectrum of Echo devices. There are very few examples of skills that uh, only work on specific uh, Amazon devices, but there are some. So for example, the Ring Video Doorbell that we've got, um, there is a skill for that, but it's only really applicable for the Amazon Echo Show, which is the device that Amazon have with a display built in. So obviously what you're getting there is the ability to use your Amazon Echo Show to see who's at the door. Um, there's no capability in the Ring skill at the moment to send a notification to an Echo or Echo Dot, which is a little bit of a shame, but hopefully that will come at some point in the future. For now, though, it just works with the Echo Show. Um, so hopefully that's been a good overview of skills. I have written up a companion blog post, though, if you'd like to read a little bit more about this topic. 
Uh, you'll find the link to that in the description below this video or visit the website newhometricks.com. If you've liked this video, please share it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.